What is happening guys welcome to this video in this video I share my experience with the black ops 6 in the early access phase and I would just like to say at the outset black ops is back boys black ops is back yeah so shout out to game pass also because um, without game pass I probably would have been playing uh, the early access because game pass I think it's ultimate and the PC version let you play uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Early Access which is from August 30th to September 1st somewhere around there and also Open Beta which is September 6th to September 9th so yeah just shout out to Game Pass for that it's pretty uh, awesome that they're doing that so yeah let's just get into my background with Call of Duty games uh, I used to play Black Ops 2 back in the day and after that I tried several other Call of Duty games and it didn't really live up to expectations so I've been feeling for a good FPS in a while I tried the likes of um, Battlefield uh, X Defined recently actually X Defined and the finals and I must say that I would like to think that Call of Duty and Black Ops 6 is the way it is because of the likes of X Defiant and the finals because people may say hey you know what these games are con killers you know but I think competition is good for Call of Duty so that they know you know what this is what people are expecting this is what customers want this is what players want and for these games to provide such top-notch FPS games, I mean X Defined, if you haven't tried it, I would give it a try because uh, I think the gunplay is, is very smooth there um, and okay obviously they, it's more objective based a lot of the gameplay is a uh, game modes they have is objective like push the card, uh, capture the zone, that sort of thing so their maps are slightly bigger uh, you know so you're gonna spend maybe uh, 20 to 30 seconds running into the fight and then you you know get your fight started get your but I think it's, it's, it's good for sniping because I remember playing as a sniper for like maybe 30 or 40 percent of my X Defiant gameplay and I must admit that sniping in X Defiant is amazing but I digress I'm just saying that you know what hopefully thanks to these games Black Ops 6 is what it is on early access because of these types of games because of so-called COD killers and uh, hopefully COD continues this way and uh, so far I've tried out um, as I said early access is only multiplayer it's looking good guns are great um, <clears throat> So I've tried, uh, they give you D4 classes, right? They give you, um, I think, four, four D4 classes and then two unlocked. So you have to level up as you play to unlock them. So the last two is the sniper and I think the shotgun, I can't be sure. But yeah, so I've been using mostly the AMES uh, assault rifle. They, this is a D4, by the way, and they put a sniper scope on it. And obviously, you know, like sniping. But I think that this, this gun is really good, like in terms of long range to short range, it's, it's, it's got its, its, its pros and cons, but I, I'm really enjoying uh, this, this gun. And just to speak about the maps, I mean, the maps are great, like let me just, let me just show, let me just show a maps, uh, list of maps, okay. So they have here, yeah, this website, I'll link it in the description, so they have all of their maps is 6v6, right? 6v6 maps. And in early access, I've played Derelict, I've played Scud, and I think one more. Um, Derelict, Scud, okay, maybe it was just two maps. <laughs> just two maps. But uh, yeah, it was really good. And like, if you can just look at the pictures in here, so Scud is is like this massive satellite that's like just been destroyed, and you know there's lots of places there that's like post-war. You can almost say I don't know what's the story, but I don't want to get into that. And then Scud, Scud is uh, where is Scud? Okay, yeah, no, no, that was Scud. Sorry, derelict. I think Derelict is the one with this, the, the train tracks 
if I can find it, where is there? Okay, yes, yes, that's that's right. So it's like an abandoned, not abandoned, but like rundown train track place with stored like cargo containers and so. So in terms of the 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 maps themselves, it's very compact. It's it's I think it's the perfect size for six v six. Like as soon as you spawn right you you spend like five to ten seconds getting into the fight even less sometimes because you know people are in in your spawn zone trying to <laughs> cam kill you so uh i mean spawn kill you. and so like i think it's just it's just part of the like if if you guys can remember black ops 2 the 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 ship map i think it's called hijacked that was like such an iconic map and even you town you got your three lanes you know your left right center and i think these maps are doing like the, the Call of Duty has really come through with the maps and, and the way the pace of because you know Call of Duty is very fast pace very high energy and you, you know just spawn you kill kill people you know so and I think they, they really come through on this uh, I'm really enjoying them and as I said before Game Pass is, is really uh, giving me access to this so I encourage a lot of you if you haven't tried this already right get your hands on Game Pass Go try this out for yourself. Remember, August 30th okay. to August, September 1st is early access. You can play this on Xbox Game Pass. And then September 6th to September 9th, you can still play this. This is open beta. And then obviously we have to wait a long while until 25th of October to get the full game. But yeah, hopefully on the September 6th one, the second week of this um, beta thing, we can have a look at the zombies mode. I'm looking forward to that because my friends and i enjoy playing uh, zombies and and let me just let me just read what they say about zombies on this other website so it's all, also linked below it says black ops 6 zombies is purely focused on creating the finest most rewarding round based experience straight up has ever made so that that sounds good like maybe they're gonna say like I've played zombies in quad mobile because you know it was free at the time and it was really fun I think they put some black ops 2 uh, zombies concepts in there and everything I could be wrong but I think where it fell short is after a certain level of rounds your XP gain and the rewards you get it's just like it's it's it doesn't even matter that you went to that round like round 100 or whatever round you got to so like we were we were doing it like i mean when you play call of duty what what's your goal like what like i remember in black ops 2 my goal was like hey i want to show off that i got this prestige like i was prestige three or four in black ops 2 so i'm very excited the prestige okay let me just <laughs> before i speak more about something let me talk about the prestige system that's coming back okay so how does black ops prestige work the prestige system is returning to class of classic call of duty in which players will reset their level back to one and in doing so lose all of their unlocked weapons and attachments after hitting a maximum player of 55 users have the option to enter prestige a player who chooses prestige will earn exclusive rewards which they can show off in game however they also reset all the unlock gear effectively starting their grind over so yeah okay standard prestige how many times can you prestige black ops 6 will allow players to prestige 10 times initially with each reset unlocking new rewards okay that's cool so each each tier gives you a new reward and then after that prestige 10 so it's 1 to 10 so what is that that's basically 50, 550 levels, right? So prestige 1 to, oh, so 600 levels, because I'm assuming it's level 1 to 55 and then prestige 1. So it's going to be, I think, 600 levels. And then it says here, uh, after that, prestige 10 will graduate into prestige master, okay, which grants players 1,000 additional prestige levels to complete that is awesome and i know like i watched a few videos saying that the prestige a thousand somewhere around there those rewards like it like it's really good like it's worth grinding for those levels like they i don't know what the rewards are yeah i haven't had to look at those but yeah it's it's course of me possible rewards for prestige it says again exclusive emblem and calling card extra loadout slot Permanent unlock tokens. Keep one item off to prestige. Oh, okay. 
and gobble gum or other zombies content oh i like that zombies content because my time is probably going to be split between multiplayer and zombies so like obviously when the guys are on you gotta play zombies you know i'm trying very hard to convince my friends to get this thing i mean the game pass it's 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 it's, it's awesome um yeah so going back to zombies i think it's it's looking good so it's four player co-op uh, up to four player co-op and uh yeah it's involve accessing blocked areas either by locking doors and okay so standard zombie stuff and yeah so what else i want to talk about before i'm going to end that so black ops guns like as i said i was using the uh, ames 85 right so that they put a uh, in the default loader i don't know if this is coming to game launch i don't know if this is just the early access thing but the default the guns they gave us it was this ams uh, AMES 85 assault rifle uh, that came equipped with uh, a few attachments, but the one I remember clearly is the sniper scope, which is perfect. That's like the best thing. Um, then you have XMM4 C9 SMG. These two also come. Um, okay, no, no, C9 SMG. That was in the default. Marine SP XMG. I think MS XMG was also there. SVD I, I locked. I tried playing this thing, but you know, after playing the AMES, <laughs> it really had me. Like, that wasn't great. But I did, I did unlock. As I told you, there's two other default classes that you can use at a certain level. So I unlocked those, and I can't remember which sniper they gave you, but that sniper was chow. Like it, it was really good. So like, yeah, I can't wait for the full list because they only gave you like three, three weapons per, uh, so assault rifle they had three, then SMGs they had three. I think shotgun they only had one and sniper they had two. So yeah, I think it's just the early access thing. I think they just trying to work out like, you know what, how are players enjoying, I mean, how they, they feeling about the maps, how they feeling about the gunplay, uh, you know, that sort of thing. So I think in the second beta, Hopefully the second beta is going to be multiplayer and zombies. So, you know, we have that choice to choose which one we want to play. And hopefully at that time, I'm going to post another video about zombies. Um, you know, because that's, that's, zombies is awesome for leveling up, for getting rewards. Um, that sort of thing. Especially if you like to go for that endurance uh, <laughs> round with, with friends. I mean, it's, it's, it's a perfect thing to play. So yeah, that's uh, I think that's about it. And uh, oh yeah, the, <laughs> I think the most important thing that's new in Black Ops is the Omni movement. I haven't spoken much about it, but look, I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> I don't use it. You don't have to use it. People are using it. I'll, uh, you can see in the in the background video that's playing. There have been players that are jumping across the screen and shooting and killing people. It's uh, it's awesome. It really it's so realistic. Like. If, if this game could combine the effects of a virtual reality suit, you know, like, like Ready Player One or some, something like that, how cool would that be? Like, that would be, like, so realistic, because now you have the choice to run how you want, crouch how you want, shoot how you want. Like, on the floor, if you crouch, if you crawl, you can legit turn your camera, like, well basically 360 and your body won't move you'll just like roll over but you'll still be prone and i think it's very it's very good in that sense so yeah um so that's omni i i'm not a fan of it but look it's not to say that other people are not going to be a fan of it i just don't use it you don't have to use it to play call of duty 6 you know maybe you can use it to to rank up Maybe the rank mode is, is essential to use because this day people are going to be using it already. It's early access and people are just going wild with it. They're really good with it already. So um, I think it's a, something a lot of people are going to enjoy. It's something that a lot of people don't need to use to have fun playing Call of Duty because coming from, as I said, Black Ops 2 days, all you want really is to shoot people. Uh, level up, maybe get prestige, unlock new guns, skins is important. I've seen a lot of uh, videos talking to skins. Also, speaking of videos, I don't know if you guys watched the Call of Duty Next. That event was pretty cool. So they had like 250 content creators over there just trying out the game. And uh, it looked really good. So 
I mean, I think the the effort that's being put in there to to make this game what it's supposed to be, what Call of Duty is all about. I think they they really uh, they really are doing that uh, well, and I hope to see. The next, well, obviously after this video, I'm gonna hop back onto the grind and <laughs> early access. So, uh, but yeah, hopefully, I uh, a zombie is gonna be in the next beta, and yeah, I'm um, just very excited, guys. If you <laughs> can't tell by my voice, um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a good one. I'll just leave you with a short clip of me getting my first. Uh, Best play in early access Call of Duty. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Don't forget to try Call of Duty Black Ops 6 on Xbox Game Pass. Thank you. Bye.